IdeaStream Public Media's Sound of Us tells stories Northeast Ohioans want to tell. For this installment, we're hearing personal stories from senior citizens in Parma. Alfred Schrader is an immigrant from Germany who lost nearly his whole biological family during World War II. In Northeast Ohio, he found a new future. IdeaStream Public Media's Egal Kaufman has this story. Just a living room. Alfred Schrader has already lived several lifetimes. At 94 years old, the fiercely independent and upbeat German immigrant has energy to spare. He doesn't hesitate to speak or struggle to recall even a single detail as he gives a tour around his Parma home. I was born in Maidan in East Prussia. My parents had a farm. I went to school in Maidan until I was 14. Schrader had three brothers, all older, and three sisters, two of whom were younger than him. The destruction wrought by bombing across Europe as depicted in this archival film footage from 1945, forced the evacuation of East Prussia. Schrader, too young for the army, was away at boarding school. All three of his brothers served in the German army and were killed in battle. The Schraders, Al's father, mother, and two younger sisters, fled the family farm. Russian troops caught them and ordered them to return home. As soon as they turned around, a man took our horse and wagon, and he shot my father right in front of my mother as well as my two sisters. My mother was separated from my sisters and each of the sisters were also separated from each other. Schrader found himself without a family, still a teenager, and with nowhere to call home. I was on my own. I was fleeing on my own as well as my parents were fleeing on their own. And this was in the middle of the winter, which was End of January 1945. It was a very, very cold winter. After a decade on his own, Schrader had an opportunity to move to the United States, settling in Cleveland, where some distant relatives had made a home. In 1957, Schrader was introduced to Beatrice Herke, a fellow German expat 30 years older than him. She had a house in Bratnall that he moved into as a boarder. She was by herself, and she thought it would be nice to have a man in a house as Things developed in the relationship between her and me. We adopted each other. She adopted me as her son, and I adopted her as my second mother. Though he was already an adult and never was formally adopted by Herke, Schrader still speaks of her as if she was his biological mother. Later on, she got worse in her with her health, and I did take care of her until the end of her death. Her death. Schrader has lived in Parma since Herke's passing in the late 70s. In his quiet neighborhood of tidy lawns and elegant ranch-style houses, his life is, like his favorite version of Beethoven's Sixth Symphony, pastoral. Schrader puts a record on a large cabinet turntable in his living room and drops a needle in the groove. This is Bruno Walter. For me, this is the best uh, recording of the Sixth Schrader lives alone and takes care of himself as well as some of his neighbors. He does all his own gardening. He's out in the yard so much, the Google Street View of his block even features him prominently in front of the house with a hoe. Of course, he works out every day. I even tripped over his yoga mat. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't worry. That's for yoga. (laughs) You do yoga? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have memories of your parents? Yes, oh, yes. I I, I even dreamt not too long ago about about my mother. My mother. I, I uh, saw her as she was with other people together, with women. They all were uh, wearing black, and she was ready to leave. And, and I said, no, I, I have to sleep. <laughs> I'm sleepy. I cannot go along. <laughs> Schrader remembers the dream of his birth mother as he remembers his time with Beatrice Herke, his nothing, second mother, nothing. with a smile on his face. Their images clear in his mind. Egal Kaufman, Idea Stream Public Media.